Okay, in this quick tutorial for new Blender users, I'm just going to show you how to take advantage of vertex groups again with particle systems. So from the previous video that I just posted, where I was showing you how to do vertex groups, but the, in this case we go look at the vertex groups. I've added three, hair, eyebrows, and mustache. And I gave them all a value of one. So if we go into edit mode and deselect everything, you can see hair. If I select that, that was the hair group, just that little section up there. De yikes. I deselect that one. Go get the eye, the eyebrows. In edit mode, select those. You can see that little bit. I'll show you again. Select. Those were my eyebrows right in there. I probably should have had them lower. And then uh, the mustache, I'll select the mustache. So there's the mustache down in there. So three different groups. So then what I did is then I go into the particle system and I create three different particle systems. Hair, eyebrows, and mustache is the way I named them just to keep it set. And in each one I assign them their own distinct vertex group. So there's that one has hair, eyebrows, in the vertex group has eyebrows, and of course mustache has mustache, right? And so then and then you can set each one how you want. Well, I was editing these a minute ago, but I'll show you this. So now in this case, I have, for the mustache, I have 5,000 particles. Sometimes you don't want that many. That can really crank it up for you. So you just can set it lower and use child particles instead. It's kind of like a copy of the existing particles. All right, so let me leave edit mode. And there you can see I've left edit mode. And there they all are. All right, so let me show you the difference. So in this case, we have, for the mustache, 905 particles. And I'm, let's drop this down. And you can see with just these copies like this, you get a boatload of particles in here like that. And so maybe what we want to do is we'll, we'll copy this. We'll, I mean, we'll edit this. So if you go from here from object mode into particle mode, then you can, there's our base particle system right there and you get the comb selection using the T key brings this menu up then you can comb your mustache out like this and it won't comb any of this up here because it's separate groups like that alright so go back into object mode and there we go so there's there are those particles and then you do the same thing with the hair and that and so that kinda gives you the basis of being able to put your eyebrows and everything in one place without them affecting each other all right, so I'll cover more in uh, some upcoming lessons, but that's a pretty good way to start practicing. And uh, between that and the previous tutorial where you're working with this length and the density and these child particles, a lot of it's experimentation. Just get it the way you want it to look. And combing it, of course. Okay, well, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson.